the Albert Bartlett Novices Hurdle is next. This is a three mile novice, and there's just seven runners in this one. And with the three mile trip, most of the top stables are represented at the top. We've got Devil in the Pool for Darren Thompson, Starlight for David Hooley, Exultate Nearer for David Robertson, Mystical Male Leon Van Rensburg, She's Got Game, Joshua Sutherland, Spending Spree, Paul Rhodes, and Vermod for Alex Cherry. So seven of them meant over the three mile hurdle trip. And away they go. Starting off in the shadow of the big screen there. And now they'll swing left handed and go down the back straight to start with just under two circuits of the track required. And Devil in the Pool and Spending Spree disputing the lead. Nothing all that keen to go on, it would seem, as they make their way to the first of 12 flights. And they've got to take in this one. And they get to the first, which they all pop over nicely. The hurdles don't look particularly big today. Although that didn't help Dante out in the last race, who crashed out of the last. But it's Exultate Nero who's now gone to the lead as they take the second. And they're all over the second. And the Exultate Nero in front. Sprending Spree is second. Mystical Mail is third. Then Devil in the Pool, four. And comes She's Got Game, the Greys, Vermont. And Starlight is just the back marker. So they're all successfully negotiated three flights of hurdles so far then and now. And it just starts to quicken the pace a little bit as they go uphill. And then Spending Spree in the lead. And then Mystical Mail Exultate Nearer. Devil in the pool on the outside. And the black and red hoops of She's Got Game Verm on the ground on the inside. And the purple jacket of Starlight at the back for David Hooley. But it's Spending Spree in the lead for Paul Rhodes. has now gone on by a couple of lengths and gone over that hurdle nicely. Next will take Nearer for David Robertson in second. Those pink and turquoise hoops. As they race downhill and swing left handed. Alex Cherry on the, on the grey Vermont. Alex, the only one who's not registered a winner so far this week out of the trainers represented in this race. That's at Cheltenham, of course. And spending his pre in the lead for Paul Rhodes, who won the cross country on day one. Next will take Nero for David Robertson, who took two races on day one. And then Darren Thompson's Devil in the Pool, the Maroon and the White Sleeves, finally got off the mark in the Triumph Hurdle, in the final race yesterday. With Leon van Rensburg's Mystical Mail next to the Gold Cup. He's sitting joint second in the Ritz Club Charity Trophy for the top trainer at the moment, with three winners. Uh, Joshua Sutherland's horse has just gone past him. She's got game. He had two yesterday after a bad first day, so. He's still well in the mix. And uh, Alex Cherry on the great Vermont, as you said, not yet had a winner, but got some live chances today. Not necessarily this one, but he's got some chances coming up later on. And then Starlight in the purple jacket for David Hooley, the man who blazes the trail with three wins on day one and two more yesterday. So he's too clear at the top. But for the first time this week today, he didn't win the opening race. So he'll be hoping to put that right with this one as they get to the six that'll be the last on the next circuit and you can see there's the winning post it's just how ridiculously short that running is it's little more than a quarter of a furlong which is a bit of a farce and i'm not quite sure how it's happened i know a lot of people like to build these courses and stuff but that's something that you really can't afford to get wrong if you're going to build a course and put it out there for people to use you've got to look at the placings of things and Quarter furlong running is just not really there at all, anyway. Spending Spree's the leader from Devil in the Pool, second, Exultate near a third, Starlight is fourth, and then Mystical Mail as they get over the seventh. They're all safely over that one with the Grey Vermont just starting to struggle a bit at the back as the pace quickens. And Spending Spree's the leader pops over it in the lead from Exultate near a second. She's got game third, Starlight is fourth. Then Mystical Mail, Devil in the Pool, and finally Vermont at the back. So they take the ninth. I've got just three more to take now then. You haven't ruled anything out of this yet. Vermont is still in contention, really, not out of it at all. And Spending Spree leads by two. And you'd also say nothing's really made a move yet. And Spending Spree is in the lead in the Albert Bartlett, a race which is surely going to be won by whoever leads over the last. As they get over the 10th, and Spending Spree in the lead from Exultate Nearer in second, 
Then she's got Game and Starlight, Mystical Males after that, then Devil in the Pool, and finally Vermont as they race downhill. Towards the final two flights is that big, big run between the second last and the last, remember? Because that last flight is half a furlong at least. Too close to the finish, maybe even more than that. But it's Spending Spruce kicked on by about four or five lengths now, and some one or two of them in caught out by that manoeuvre. Spending Spree is clear with three and a half furlongs to go. Starlight's the one who's gone off in hot pursuit first. She's got game moving into third as they get over the second last. Now they're gonna run to the final flight of more than two and a half furlongs with Spending Spree in the lead from Starlight in second. Then comes She's Got Game third, Mystical Mail running on in a fourth. Then comes Exultate near a Devil in the Pool and then Vermont after that one as they race in there towards the straight. They've still got two furlongs to go. They've got a long way to go towards they get to the final flight and it's Spending Spree and Starlight who are clear from She's Got Game and Mystical Mail surely between these but Spending Spree is looking the stronger at the moment. Spending Spree goes a length clear again now racing down towards this final flight it's Spending Spree in the lead here comes Mystical Mail on the outside Spending Spree John Cassidy little look round racing in towards the final flight then now and he pops over in the lead here comes Mystical Mail but the running's too short and Spending Spree takes it Mystical Mail second she's got game Starlight Exultate nearer and I don't want to keep banging on about this but you've got to say that if that had been run on the proper track you would have had to have fancied Leon Van Rinsburg's horse to get up and win it because the running is where these races are normally won and lost to be honest but now if you jump the last in the league you're pretty much nailed on and spending spree taxi for Paul Rhodes mystical male Leon Van Rensburg second she's got game Joshua Sutherland third starlight David Hooley fourth and exultate nearer for David Robertson was fifth